Hey everyone, it's Jason Dunn here from Digital Home Thoughts, and today I'm doing an unboxing and first impressions video of the Lenovo Think Center M90Z. So this is an all-in-one uh, computer, a little bit like the A70Z uh, that I looked at previously. So this here is the box. Let's take a look at what's inside. All right, so here's everything uh, inside the box. Uh, the first thing you'll notice, of course, is that the uh, M90Z is quite a bit bigger than the M70Z. Uh, it has a 23 inch screen which will be underneath here so it's bigger and it's a bit heavier. Uh, in terms of what you get in the box, very similar to the uh, M90Z, or sorry, the A70Z, boy that's going to get a little bit confusing. You get uh, your safety and warranty guide, you get a single power cable, you get a uh, wired mouse, and there is a standard, uh, this is going to just be a standard uh, wired keyboard. If I can get the box open here. Yeah, so here's the standard wired keyboard. Again, uh, you don't really get a whole lot in the box because of course everything is built into the system. Uh, worth noting is that Lenovo does have an option for a, a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard, but for this uh, review unit that I was sent, they sent us just the, the standard one. And uh, I don't know about you, but I tend to prefer wireless mice and keyboard, so I'll probably get a wireless mouse and keyboard to replace what is here. Now, you see the big uh, reduce, reuse, recycle pouch here. Uh, Lenovo says that in, uh, by using this type of uh, packaging, they're able to reduce the equivalent of uh, 250 paper cups, 139 plastic bags uh, compared to a desktop and a monitor uh, shipped out separately. So that's of course one of the advantages of using an all-in-one system. So um, I'm going to uh, just take this off here. And as I mentioned, this, this unit is, uh, is bigger than the A70Z. So boy, it's a little bit heavy. Let me just get this out of the way here. There we go. So, um, as you can tell, it is uh, quite a bit bigger, you know, than uh, than the A70Z, which is great. One of the issues I had with the A70Z, not, not an issue, but one of the, I guess, the sort of minor complaints would be, from my own personal perspective, uh, the uh, the size of the the display on the A70Z, A70Z was quite small. Uh, you know, I think we're seeing obviously a, a big trend towards uh, larger display sizes, and the M90Z I think really delivers uh, upon that. So let me tell you just a little bit about some of the uh, specs uh, inside this thing. Uh, so this is a, a 23 inch uh, display. I'm I'm not 100% sure what the resolution is. I want to say it's a 23 inch display and it's 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. Uh, I am pretty sure that it is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio screen, so that, that's, that should be uh, the correct resolution. Uh, one of the big differences uh, is the CPU power in, in this particular unit. So it actually has a, a Core i5-650, uh, which is a 3.2 gigahertz uh, CPU. Uh, it has um, two cores and four threads, so it's basically it's a dual core system, and it has um, the uh, hyper threading on it. Essentially, that gives you more performance. So um, I'm going to just stop this video right now. I'm going to plug in the mouse and the keyboard, and we'll connect it to power, and then we'll continue talking about some of the interesting features. Before I powered it up, I thought I would actually walk through some of the ports on the uh, system here. The power button is just right around the corner here on the front. Uh, down here we have uh, a USB port, standard USB port. We have a uh, microphone, um, sorry, actually a headphone input jack here and a microphone jack here. We have another USB port here. Uh, there is a uh, memory card reader slot. It looks like it's, uh, an, S uh, it's an SD card slot and you know, uh, I don't know if it'll support memory stick or not. I'll have to double check, but it looks like it's, it's just um, SD. And of course up here we have the uh, optical drive, so this just uh, pops out. It's basically like a slot loading drive, and as you can tell, sorry, it's not slot loading. It's the same type of, type of drive that you have on a laptop computer, so it, the whole thing actually, you know, uh, pops out here. Um, a few people asked uh, Lenovo on a conference call was in why they opted to have uh, this type of optical drive that pops out rather than having slot loading, and the answer was essentially a reliability. Uh, the general consensus is that this type of drive, I mean, from Lenovo's perspective, this type of drive is a bit more uh, sturdy and it's a bit more durable. Um, it's an interesting concept because of course this thing pops out and something that pops out you know there's I think more of an increased chance of physical damage but on the other hand a slot loading drive is completely internalized and so if something gets in there and it gets jammed it's pretty hard to fix. So I'll pause the camera and we'll take a look at the back. Alright so this is the back of the M90Z. Let me just zoom in a little bit so we can take a closer look. 
Over on the left hand side here we have the power connector, nothing very exciting here. You can see that there's a couple of uh, ports that have been covered up here. So um, Lenovo offers a custom configuration to uh, small businesses, you know, enterprises that want to uh, custom configure uh, the system. So that's why this would be here. Nothing really much here. Uh, over here we have the uh, Ethernet port. Uh, I believe that this is gigabit, although I'll double check a little bit after I edit the video. Over here we have uh, four USB ports. So the four USB ports in the back uh, plus the two USB ports on the side makes uh, six USB ports, which is actually great. That's uh, a good number of USB ports. Over here, um, quite a bit different from your standard uh, A70Z, which is the one that I used um, before, but it actually has DisplayPort out. So this is a DisplayPort um, output here, so you can connect it to a monitor that supports DisplayPort. And quite interestingly, uh, this is the uh, VGA in, so that means that you can actually use the display on the uh, A70Z, or sorry, the M90Z. You can use this big 23-inch uh, display to actually accept input from a VGA source. So that could be uh, anything, you know, a, a DVD player, a game console, um, a laptop, uh, whatever you want. So it does give some uh, added uh, flexibility uh, between. Uh, this unit versus the uh, the A70Z. So let's take a look uh, up at the top. There's something kind of interesting up there. All right, so the uh, M90Z has a webcam, but what's pretty intriguing about it is that they've actually incorporated a physical hardware switch. So when it's over on this position, you see the red dot, there's, a, there's an icon here that essentially is, you know, a camera with it it's being crossed out. The red dot, we have, a, we have it physically secured so that there's no way that any kind of software can override this. And of course, if you move it over to here, that means that the lens cap is essentially open and uh, you'll be able to use the webcam. Uh, it's kind of an interesting feature, you know. Uh, there's some privacy issues and concerns about you know remote monitoring software sometimes, and it's really neat to be able to just put it over here and say, you know what, as long as I can see that red dot, I know that it doesn't matter what kind of software is on my computer, no one's going to be able to access the webcam, or rather, even if they can access the webcam, the best they can do is pick up an audio feed because there's an actual physical barrier here preventing the webcam from uh, broadcasting. So I think it's a really interesting feature, and uh, certainly I think where all ones are concerned, I think it's better to err on the side of you know uh, privacy. So I would definitely like to see. Um, other companies out there use this particular feature. So now let's power up the unit and check out some more.